Hi, my name is Makumba Gerard of Edimar. In this video, we are going to look at how to find the square root of any number using Newton Raphson's method. But before we go into it, subscribe to Edimar such that you can be notified of new videos that we make every day. So let us get started and see you there. Finding the square root of any number n. So let us say, let's say let x be equal to the square root of that number capital N. Let us have a guiding question. So here we have our guiding question. We have to base on this to answer some questions. So um, they are saying show that the formula based on Newton is rough, Newton Raphson's method for finding the square root of a number capital N is this. Now, first of all, in our solution, we have been given a number capital N. So we are going to find its root. So we say let x, which is the root, be equal to the square root of a number capital N. So if x is the square root of a number capital N, this uh, implies that x is equal to capital N per one half. This is from indices. So squaring both sides, we shall have x squared being equal to n. We shall have x squared minus n being equal to 0. Then from here, we now select f of x be equal to 0. This implies that f of x is equal to x squared minus n. Then after here, this here is a continuous function. We can go ahead and get a discretized function because if you are to use Newton's Newton Raphson method, we know that xn plus 1, the better approximation, is equal to the initial approximation minus f, the function of the initial approximation, divided by f derivative xn. So this here is the newton raphson is the formula now we have to find f x n this here this is now going to be x n squared minus capital n from here we can find f derivative of x we differentiate a continuous function this is equal to 2 x this uh, differentiating n n is any number which is a constant so here we have f derivative of xn being equal to 2xn. Now that we have fxn and we have f derivative of xn, we can substitute in the newton raphsonism formula to find our required formula. So we have uh, xn plus 1 being equal to xn minus f xn is this so i have so we have x xn squared minus capital n divided by f derivative xn which is here this is 2 xn getting the lcm lcm is 2 xn 2 xn divided by 1 here you get 2 xn 2 xn times xn you get 2 xn squared minus 2xn divided by 2xn you get 1 1 times the whole of the numerator it remains the way it is and i'm going to multiply through by the negative so i will have xn squared making this a positive n there so when you sum simplify this this will leave us with the xn here 2xn squared minus xn squared you remain with xn squared plus capital N everything divided by 2xn but what do they want us to show? they want us to show that xn the better approximation is equal to a half into bracket xn plus capital N over xn so let us strive into into that uh, here so i'm going to distribute the denominator so i will have xn squared all over 
to xn plus capital N all over to xn. There we are. So uh, when they reduce there, we shall have here xn divided by 2 plus capital N all over 2xn. So let me pull out a half because it is a common factor. So I will have 1 all over 2 into bracket xn plus capital N all over xn. So this is the Newtonian's Raphson method formula for finding the square root of any number where this small n is equal to 0, 1, 2, and they continue. So that is the formula which they required us to find this here. Then we need to use this formula here to find the square root of 23. Square root of 23. Okay. I'm going to do it from here. So let me draw my line there. So part A, they need us to find the square root of 23 to 3 decimal places. We saw that these 3 decimal places means a lot here. It means it's going to give us the maximum possible error, which is now equal to half times 10 power negative 3. And this here is equal to 0 0.0005. This is the maximum possible error. On a continue, if at all the error exits, exceeds the maximum possible error required of us. Okay. Now, we don't know what x naught is. We don't know the initial approximation. But it is our task to find it. We have to use our techniques, our mathematical techniques to find it. So we know that, we know that, we know that square root of 23 lies between 4 and 5. Square root of 23 lies between 4 and 5. Okay, that's what we know. Because when you get when you get a calculator and you press 23 square root of 23, you get 4.7958. But that's not the method they want us to use. But this here gives us the range within which our square root value will lie. Okay, So uh, it is going to lie between the, the lower bound and the upper bound of 4.7958, which are 4 and Five. So uh, from here, we can now be able to get x naught, which is just equal to the average of the two points. So this is the average of 4 plus uh, 5 divided by 2. So x naught is equal to 4.5. Uh -huh. Now let us start. When n is equal to 0, let's put in the formula. We have started with the n equal to 0. We shall have x1. Because if you put here 0, you remain with 1. Is equal to a half into bracket, half into bracket, x naught plus capital N all over x naught. So x1 is equal to a half into bracket x naught. We have got it here. 4.5 plus capital N. Capital N is now equal to 20, 23. That is capital N. So this is 23 all over 4.5. Everyone ought to have a calculator. So when you press your calculator, we shall have to get x1 as 4.8056. Now, before we continue, we have to check on the error. So we are looking at the error here. Error is the magnitude of this x1 minus x2. I mean x0. So we shall have 4.8056 minus 4.5. Let's check on this error here. When we subtract there, what shall we have? We shall have to get 0 0.3. 0.3056. This error is very big compared to the maximum possible error which is required of us. So this is zero greater than 0 0.005. That error is really too big. So that means we have to continue. So now we go to when n is equal to 1. 
put there one to have x2 being equal to a half into bracket x1 plus capital N, but which capital N is now 23 divided by x1. Remember, we got x1 from here. So that means x2 is equal to a half into bracket x1, which is 4.8056 plus 23 all over 4.805. Six. So when you press our calculator very well, we are going to get 4.7958. This here is x2. Before we continue, we check the error. So let's see the error here. So error is going to be the magnitude of x2 minus x1. So this here is 4.7958 minus 4.8056 under magnitude. So when we subtract, we get 0 0.0098. This value here is still greater than the maximum possible error which is 0 0.0000 triple fives there i mean triple zeros zero 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 five so uh, this tells us that we must continue so we have to now go to when n is equal to 2 so when n is equal to 2 let us substitute in here we shall have to get uh, x3 being equal to 1 all over 2 into bracket this will be now x2 plus this is 23 divided by x2 so we are going to substitute in so we shall have x3 being equal to 1 all over 2 into bracket x2 we got it we got x2 here so x2 is right here we shall have to get this as 4 Point seven nine five eight plus twenty three divided by four point seven nine five eight. Okay, so when you press very well our calculator there, we shall have to get four point seven nine five eight. That is when what we have to get as x three. We have to check on the error because there are always possibilities of continuing so error here is equal to x3 minus x2 which is now for 4.7953 sorry 58 minus 4.7958 so here the error is zero and a zero is less than the maximum required error which is 0 0.005 so you conclude and say therefore the square root of 23 is equal to they needed this to three decimal places so we are going to round off from here so this is 4.796 and this is to three decimal places places all right thank you for keeping with me up to this point here now right at the moment we have to go and try out part b part c and part d don't forget to subscribe to edmath and please don't also forget to recommend it to your friend thank you very much and have a blessed time